Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Dell International Conference of 2020. And this morning's speaker is Malcolm Swanson. And his presentation is entitled Developing Peer Assessment Skills with Moodle. And he will tell you about how to ask your questions. Take it away, Malcolm. Take it away. All right. Thank you very much. Well, I'm actually impressed and very happy to see some people actually here. I thought it was just going to be an audience of two. Uh, but now I've got lots of people, so I'm very happy. Um, yeah, Monday morning can be a bit of a dead time, but I'm happy to have you here. Hopefully not too hungover. Okay. Um, yeah, as, as Gretchen said, thank you, Gretchen, for the intro. Um, if, you want, if you're wanting to ask questions, we will be doing a little activity later. Uh, you can ask questions during that. Just uh, I've got to take about five or ten minutes to do a quick intro. And as it says there, just while you're kind of um, dozing off, just think of an anecdote of something interesting or humorous that has happened to you while teaching online or using Zoom or such conferencing apps. Okay. All right. So um, I'll be I'm going to be talking about using Moodle's workshop module for peer assessment um, and how this has improved my student skills at evaluating the work of others. Um, I'm just going to, like I said, spend about 10 minutes just talking about uh, peer assessment, our hopes and re the realities of it, and then a quick explanation of this module, and then you're going to dive in and I'm going to get you to actually use it. So I think all of us who have implemented uh, peer assessment in our program programs have done so with kind of similar hopes. You know, we've set up uh, writing or performance activities for our students, and then we've invited uh, their peers to come in and evaluate and advise them on what they've done. And as this quote from Cornell says, we've done this because of how peer assessment has a structured learning process that involves critiquing and giving feedback to others' work. And from there, the students can develop their lifelong skills for not only assessing others, but also self-assessing and improving their own work. Um, similarly, as uh, this, this quote from Hong Kong University says, uh, the value of learning from each other um, about exposing our students to more diversity, learning critiquing skills, and also just being responsible for their own learning. And it all sounds very fabulous, doesn't it? However, for many of us who probably have tried peer assessment, the reality is sometimes a little bit different. Um, uh, because our students don't have the skills or experience in assessing others, the quality of their assessments is often less than it really needs to be. They just don't understand what is required or the reasons for doing it or have the skills to do so. Also, naturally enough, they feel pretty uncomfortable about grading their friends and classmates, um, especially in small classes, and they would rather leave that kind of uh, assessment to the so-called expert. And uh, something we possibly see more so in Japan, the scoring that students give is often over generous. As I said, they're often reluctant to judge their peers and they feel unqualified. So the default safe response is to score highly. Even when they do receive a grading from their classmates, they, they actually question the worth of it, the value of it. Um, why should they believe the judgment of someone unqualified? Uh, it's far better for the professional teacher to be doing this. So, how can we address these issues? For myself, I've, I've been using um, this Moodle workshop module uh, and I found it's helped a lot. Um, with this module, and I'll, I'll explain how it works in a moment, um, we can set specific rubrics to guide the students, plus they can receive credit for both their writing and uh, the assessments that they give. So in a nutshell, the uh, module works like this. The students um, add their assignments um, in whatever format you choose, either uploaded or directly inputted online. And then once, it, once it's all complete, they, they, their work is assigned to other students for them to work and evaluate. Uh, the assessments, you can you preset criteria or rubrics that um, <clears throat> they can mark against, and plus students can also give comments if they wish. And after everything's completed, the students, they receive a grade, not only for their submission, or, but also for the quality of their evaluations and assessments, okay? And as a teacher, you can actually jump in there and tweak the grades if you so wish. 
Okay, so on the, on the assessment side, as I said, first they get a grade for their submission and you can, you can judge what, um, how shall I say, what divide you want to use between submission and assessment. Um, um, I usually use like an 80-20 or 70-30 split, but it's totally up to the teacher, okay? For their submission itself, uh, the grade they receive is just simply the average given by all the reviewers that they've worked with. The assessment grade is a little bit more complex. Um, it's calculated from the degree of divergence from the mean grade given by all, okay? Which means, for example, if, if a student has received five different grades, um, the, the student who gave the mean grade would get a perfect score. For example, if it was 20, 20 points, they would get 20, okay? The students who are a little either way from that would receive slightly less and if the outliers would be even lower still, okay? So it's all calculated by, a, they call it an AI, I don't know how intelligent it is, but it's within the module, there's an AI which calculates that all out so that they receive their grade. So it's kind of in, in the interests of the students to actually really carefully think about the, uh, the rubrics and stuff that you've set up and grade accordingly, because their, score, their, grade, their grade for assessment will go accordingly. Okay, and generally what I've found is uh, with my students, after three or four cycles using this, uh, their confidence has improved and their reluctance to assess has decreased. Um, as the time spent on assessing is lengthened. Uh, I, can see, I can see by the time, the time they submit their grades uh, that it's not just one after the other, but they've actually taken time to think. And the comments that they're given have increased and they're also more focused. Uh, tellingly, scores show a wider diversity rather than just sort of being, you know, 90, 95%. And they're often, they're much more in line with my own assessments. And for whatever reason, I'm finding that more and more time has been taken uh, with the assessments themselves. They're actually being more careful about what they submit because they know that they're going to be under a wider scrutiny than just the teacher. Okay. So that being said, let's get into it. Right. Um, what I want everyone to do is to go to this website, uh, learnerzone.com, and access the My Study Moodle. Uh, if you want to use your KTIs to do this, that's fine. You can just use that thing there. And I'll also put the link in the chat. Uh, hang on a sec. Chat, chat, where are you? Okay, so I'm just putting the link in the chat as well. Okay, and um, for usernames, uh, it's, it's a very simple username, basically jolt2020 hyphen and then a number, and the password is jolt2020 exclamation mark with the jolt in, in uppercase. So if I could give you uh, a number to use, so Steve, could you use number one, uh, yoshi Desan number two, uh, Daniel number three, Hirai number four, Donna five, David, Hammett, six, Robert, seven, uh, Junko, eight, and and Midas here, my God, uh, nine, Michael, 10, Maria, 11, and Noriko, 12, and sorry, I can't read that kanji, the last one, um, 13. And Gretchen, if you want to do it, you could be 14. Okay. Uh, Sato Manami? You're right. Okay, Manami, yeah. If you could be, what did I say? 13, I think. 13, 13, yeah. Okay, so you just add the number after the hyphen and log in, okay? Sorry, Malcolm, what number am I? There's always one, isn't there? One, two, three, four, <laughs> I five, apologize. Five, two, three, four, five, ten, 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 10. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anyone else need a number? You didn't catch it? Sorry, Malcolm, I thought I was 10. Oh, sorry, 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 yes. Uh, sorry, Anne, you're nine. That's right, Anne's nine. Okay, got it, thanks. Okay, if you have a problem, just let me know. Uh, thank you for giving me the number. I'm having a bit of a problem on the computer, so I will just watch and sure. um, yeah, thank you. That's fine. Will I be fine to just use my own sandbox and my own instance of Moodle? Sure, although uh, if you do that, then we can't, I can't demonstrate the, the grading thing that will go on. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so once you've logged in, you should see this page here. Is that working for everybody? Um, we don't see a page. We see your Moodle workshop activity. Okay. Intro page. Okay, so so if you if you just go to this then, did you get that? Like on on your shared screen, we don't see what we don't see the middle homepage. Uh, hang on a second, am I in the right place? You might need to uh, share your web. Yeah, I think I am too. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm choosing the wrong share. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, this one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Share. There it is. Is that it? So yeah, if you if you when you yeah. first landed, you probably saw this page here. And if you just click Jolt 2020, it will take you into there. Okay. All right. And I can see there's four people online at the moment. Anyone having any hassles? Yeah, I, I'm doing the login as you suggest, but it's giving me invalid login every time. Okay. Um, are you using the correct password? Yeah, so it's capital J, capitals Jout 2020. Exclamation mark. Oh, exclamation mark. I didn't see that. Sorry. Anyone else having a problem? This is just like a normal class. Half are okay and half having a problem. Yeah, I have a trouble. So maybe I'll just watch. Okay, okay. If you want to try again, I can give you a different log and number. If you want to do like Jolt 2020 hyphen 20. Uh, could you say it again? Jolt? Uh, let me let me just share that screen again. Okay, so this one here, if you just do Jolt 2020 hyphen 20, mm -hmm. and then the password is almost you Jolt 2020 exclamation mark. Don't forget that exclamation mark. Sorry. Oops. Okay, I will try yeah. again. But if I, I can't, just ignore and please uh, explain. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, let me share the screen again. Okay, so if you're in this page here, oh, you've got a few more people now, um, click the sample peer review activity. And um, as you can see, it's still in the setup phase. Okay, and um, what we'll do is I'll just jump back to my main desktop here. Okay, uh, sorry, juggling screens here. Here we go. Okay, so on on my this is my page that uh, as a, as the teacher I will see, and what I do now is I switch to the next phase. Okay, and continue, and now I've opened up the activity. So um, if you refresh your page now, you'll be able to see that you can submit your story. Okay, it will say submit your work. Okay, and if you click that submit your work, then add a submission and write your story. Okay, while you're doing that, if you have any problems or you want to ask any questions, go for it. What I will be doing now is just waiting for your wonderful stories. So we should write stories about a funny episode that happened during a Zoom class. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just a couple of sentences. This is just to try it out. So it's not a, it's not testing your English ability. Okay. Oh. And as you can see, um, let me share. Who <laughs> wrote <a> toilet? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, as you can see, uh, somebody has already submitted. Rudyard. By the, by the way, the names were just from a random name generator. <laughs> Don't worry too much about what you write, just a really quick couple of sentences. You have a, 
about 10 minutes left, Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. Once, once everybody's written something, it's quite quick to go through. Here is Such a quiet class. I should have had some background music, sorry. I have a question. Sure. Um, uh, I've been told I can't do multiple submissions, but I thought I'd only just done one, so I can't give you my final submission. Really? Multiple submissions. Why would you, uh, what's your number, Steve? Uh, I'm the first one, Rudyard. While editing this form, another version of the submission has been saved. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't think I clicked a button by mistake. Still, anyway. Ah, um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I've done that for you. Sorry, I, I must have logged in with your your one. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Uh, my story is probably more interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can you can modify the one that's there if you want. I have done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go for it. All right. So we've got four submitted so far. Um, let's change it to thirty. Okay. And as you can see, I'm starting to see submissions come in here. And if I just click that, I can see. Who has submitted? Let's make that a bit bigger. Okay, so we've got um, six stories in. <laughs> don't room, don't room most. <laughs> Is anybody still writing or can I move along? Sorry, I can't hang on with tick. I'll just go back so I can see. If anybody needs more time, just just give a give a wavy handy thing. Yeah, I just need another ten seconds. Okay, no worries. Yeah, me too. Just ten seconds. Yeah, run and run. <laughs> no comment. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Gretchen, we always give each other grief. It's just just the way we communicate. I'm okay, in a jovial session right now, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm done. okay anyone, anybody else need more time? Okay, so we've got uh, eight submissions there. Okay. So what I can do, uh, what I can do now is I, I can switch to the next phase. All right. So I'm going to do that just, just because we don't have a lot of time and I confirm. Okay, um, now allocate submissions, all right? So what I will do now is uh, random allocation. And well, let's, do, let's just do a couple. Um, yeah, a um, little worried. You might get submissions for people who haven't, who are not here. I can't remember how this works. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the activity. Have they been? Okay. No, that's worked. Okay. It's fine. Okay. So now if you refresh your page, you should see that you have two stories to um, assess. Okay. And the rubrics are there. You should be able to. Uh, just click each story and give them a grade. Okay. Now you can be brutal because this is just a just fun activity. All right. And you can write very derisive comments. It's fine.
Sorry, where, where are we looking for these submissions? If you if you uh, refresh your page, uh -huh. um, let me just I'll share the screen so you can see it. Uh, let me share. Here you go. <clears throat> um, if you refresh your page and you mm -hmm. scroll down, you'll see that you've been assigned some to assess. Okay, and then you just click that and do it. Can you see it? I had to navigate back because it was just showing my own page. So I had to go to the top. Okay. Of the page. So, so yeah, if you use that, if you go click that at the top there on the on the what do you call the breadcrumb menu, if you just click that sample peer review activity, and it should, it should take you back to that first page. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Those little things I take for granted from having done it so often. Got it. Got it? Yeah. Yay. All right. And we like, for example, if I click that one there, so I think I'm you, Steve, so I can see. Um, yeah, so you just click the assess button there and it will give you the criteria that you can assess on. Okay. And if you want to give some feedback, go for it. We've got about five more minutes, so don't spend too much time on that. All right. So Jane Ash is very quick. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Grades have been given. Lavinia and Miles are doing very well. And I can I can see that the grades have been uh, submitted here. Uh, share that back again. Okay, about half of you have finished grading. Couple more. Okay. Question while we wait. Yeah. Uh, how often do you have students uh, do these peer assessment activities? Uh, I, I don't overkill it. Uh, probably at the most three times in a semester. Uh, get them to do this. Um, it depends on the class. Um, I don't. I don't actually teach much many write, writing classes, so uh, it would just be for activities that are sort of included in um, courses that I run, communication courses and project related courses. Uh, if you if you were doing a writing class, there yeah, then I think you could really ramp it up. You know, doing it every two or three weeks. Yeah. For your students, go on. Sorry. Go on. Are you also able to do? Uh file uh like upload video and stuff for this activity yes type? yeah uh, you can you can choose um any any type of up, uh, file upload as long as long as the moodle has the space for it. your video can be a little bit tricky because uh it's such a huge file size but audio and things like that will be no problem okay yeah we have our video automatically goes to vimeo or something so we okay 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 you could just include the link okay looks everyone's almost finished so i'm gonna jump across to the next phase anyway and uh, the next phase is um, I would just uh, confirm. Um, probably I'll need to, um, in this case, I can intervene if I think that some things are not good. I can go in here and look at people's grades and intervene if I think that they're being a little bit trashed. Wow, some of you are tough. 40%? Um, wow. And then uh, I could provide my own conclusion, uh, some overall feedback, and then I would just switch to the next phase. And all right, so now you should be, if you, if you click that um, breadcrumb link at the top there, you should be able to see the grades that you received and any comments and the rubbish people said about your writing. Are you getting that? 
Malcolm, we've hit our time limit, so we need to wrap okay. it up. Okay. Well, yeah, that actually went kind of better than I thought. That those sort of activities can be a bit of a train wreck when you're trying to do it in 25 minutes, but it actually went quite well. Um, yeah. Um, just on that same page, that same course page, if you want more information, uh, there is a, a couple of links there and also a link from my email address, which you're welcome to uh, contact me on. But uh, thank you very much for coming in this morning at 9.30 on a Monday morning on a day off. Impressive, thanks a lot. <laughs> and if everyone could unmute themselves and give Malcolm a round of applause for his efforts this morning. And I do have another session in here in 10 minutes, but you're welcome to stay and have a chat with Malcolm or leave and go to the Hangouts, which is room number 32. Um, please make sure to visit the sponsors room and the materials exhibit room. <laughs> Any last words, Malcolm? No, nothing at all. Today's my wedding anniversary, so now- oh, Congratulations. I have to go and buy some flowers for my wife. <laughs> Okay, thanks again. I'm stopping the recording. Okay. Thanks, guys.